Hey, when should I lube my chain, and how often? What kind of lube is the best? These are some of the most common questions we get from our customers, so let's get to it. Welcome to CycleCraft TV. I'm Brendan Poe, the owner of the CycleCraft Cycling Center, located on Route 46 in Parsippany, New Jersey, and all around the world at CycleCraft.com. Before we go down the slippery slope of lube, though, the question that people should be asking is how often should they clean their chain? A drivetrain that's maintained properly will last a lot longer and work better on every ride. So lube is only half the equation. Sometimes we have to clean the chain, too. We're going to break this down into two parts. Part one is cleaning the chain, and part two is going to be applying fresh lube. Here are some of the products we're going to be using. This is just a small sampling of what's out there. There's plenty of hot debate about what the best product for chain lube is, and that's a discussion for another video. But rest assured that using any bike-specific chain lube is going to be a big plus. Chain lube you don't want to use is WD-40 Penetrant, Motor Oil, Vegetable Oil, Crisco, well, you get the idea. Use a product specifically made for a bike chain. The first thing we have to talk about, then, is when you should lube your chain. For sure, if you get to this point, you're going to need some chain lube. Similarly, if you have this much buildup of gunk on your chain, you'll be limiting the life of your parts. Water, sand, and dirt are the enemies of your bike parts. If you ride in wet, sloppy conditions, you'll need to clean and lube your chain more often, maybe every few rides. So the easy answer is, if your chain looks rusty and sounds squeaky, you should probably add some chain lube. Similarly, if your chain is all black and gunky, you should clean and then apply more lube. So back to part one, cleaning your chain. There are a variety of solvents and tools on the market for cleaning a bike chain, but we really like this Park Tool Chain Gang. The kit comes with a cleaner box, some chain cleaner, and a brush for getting in between the cogs for a good deep cleaning. A couple of the reasons I really like the Park Chain Cleaner is that it uses only a few ounces of the biodegradable cleaner, and the tool does most of the work. It also has a little magnet in the bottom of the cleaner to grab onto all the metal bits that come off of your chain that would otherwise get stuck to the chain during the cleaning cycle. The cleaner is pretty simple to use. Just capture the chain inside the box, add some cleaner, and backpedal the chain while holding the handle. For really gunky chains, keep it running until most of the grime is off. This operation can be fairly messy, as the dirty cleaner drops off of the chain, so a good idea is to lay some newspaper on the ground under your work area and have plenty of rags handy to wipe the chain and any cleaner that splashes onto your bike. Once you're all cleaned up, you're ready to apply new lube. Like I said, there are a lot of options out there. For basic operation, this finish line dry Teflon lube is a great choice. If you ride in really wet, sloppy conditions, they also make a version that's a little bit thicker. I like the drip-on versions of these lubes, but there are aerosol versions as well. The drip-on lube is a little bit more precise and a lot more economical to use. To apply lube, just hold the tip over the chain and drip on one drop per link. Keep in mind that you really only need lube in the rollers. A lot of lube on the outside of the plates will just attract dirt and wear your drivetrain prematurely. Run the chain backwards a few times and then use a rag to wipe off the excess. So that's all there is to it. Check the info below of this video to see links to the products used in the video and a bunch more. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and YouTube will show it to other people. And while you're pushing buttons, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll get all the latest CycleCraft TV videos. Thanks for watching and keep the rubber side down.